Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Hi. Say hi. hi. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, you might see this little cutie in the background. No, no, no. no. <laughs> so I'm super excited to be filming this tutorial today, this get ready with me. I went to go see um, my friend Shane yesterday at his tattoo shop, Irish Ink in Las Cruces. There's a little plug for, for Shane. He's amazing. He's the one who's done all my tattoo work, my husband's work. Um, but I went to go see him yesterday and get some color work done on a back piece that he started about four years ago. And then after getting pregnant and just finding time in my schedule to be able to go see him, I just, I haven't gone to see him in like the last four years until finally yesterday I went to go see him. Anyway, um, his wife, Jamie, who is a dear, dear friend of mine, who is an amazing photographer, by the way. She has such an eye, you know, if you tell her what you want, she has such an eye for picking out um, locations or, you know, she's she's just amazing. She, she is truly amazing. She did my maternity photos. She's done a lot of other photo shoots for me and my family, and I just, they're just amazing people. Like, seriously, Shane and Jamie are two of my favorites my husband and I hold them dear to our hearts and we love them very much. Jamie texts me the other day she's like well don't go buy the Urban Decay Born to Run palette because I just bought it for you and I freaked out I literally had tears in my eyes when I was reading the text message I could not believe I just felt so lucky and so blessed that you know God has put such wonderful people in my life like I'm just feeling so grateful. She got me the Born to Run palette and I almost died when I was <laughs> reading the text message. Oh my gosh, I like, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? So, when I went to go see um, Shane yesterday, of course she stopped by the tattoo shop and she dropped this off to me. So, thank you, Jamie. All right guys, so without further ado, Let's get into the video. Take a sip of my coffee. This is like my second cup of coffee and it probably won't be my last cup of coffee for the day. I am a coffee addict and I'm proud of it. I did my eyebrows. I used the Kat Von D. I have been loving this stuff, the 24 hour super brow. This stuff is amazing. It has definitely yeah. replaced my Anastasia. Um, Beverly Hills pomade. I still love my Anastasia. It's just a little more drier where this one stays creamy Lets you work with it and then it finally, you know, it sets when you need it to set Then I also went ahead and primed and did my foundation. I used this Peter Thomas Roth 24 um, Karat gold. It's the pure luxury lift and firm prism clean cream. It's an all-over self-adjusting illuminator. I've really been loving this under my foundation. I wore it yesterday by itself all over my skin and I liked it. Um, it does have a little bit like of a tint to it, but it definitely is self-adjusting. Like when I first put it on, I was like, oh my gosh, this looks so dark on my skin. But then it kind of like absorbed into my skin and just gave my skin like a really nice like glowy luminosity look to it. So I've been loving this under my foundation. I've worn it alone a few times and I really like it. My friend Jamie also gifted this to me um, for Mother's Day. She gave me this cute little bag and with a bunch of little goodies in it and this was in there and thank you Jamie. I have been loving it. And I used my Makeup Forever Professional HD stick foundation. I bought this because Kathleen Lights raved about it in one of her videos and so I thought I'd try it and I've been obsessed with this stick foundation. It feels so light on the skin. Um, foundation is one of my favorite things to try out just because I like to have flawless looking skin um, but I don't like to feel cakey or heavy and I don't like my makeup to look cakey or heavy. Like I am a true a fan of the CC cream but um, sometimes I want a little fuller coverage but I just don't like for it to look cakey or to feel cakey and so this is definitely a nice full coverage foundation. You can build it up, you know, in layers if you need to. Um, I just use one layer today and it just, it feels really nice on my skin. You do have to set it though, so I do recommend setting this with a powder. Okay, now we're moving on. I'm gonna prime my eyes. I'm gonna use this. This is the Catrice Camouflage Cream. Mine is in the shade 010 Ivory. I've been loving this little pot 
to conceal blemishes when I have a blemish, but I've also been liking it to um, prime my eyelids. And then to kind of set um, the cream, I've really been liking Pop No Filter Sheer Pressed Powder, and mine is in the shade Medium. I'm so excited to use this. There's so many things I wanna do, but like when I first saw this palette, these two rows right here, these six shadows, like I was instantly drawn to them. I do wanna use Wanderlust and Big Sky. Holy cow, yes, I do wanna dip into these, but these colors over here, like they're calling my name. So I'm gonna do something with these today. So I'm gonna grab my Morphe 535 brush and I'm gonna dip into the shade Weekend. And this is gonna be my first um, shade that I lay down. brush and I'm gonna dip in to this shade right here and I'm really gonna focus that right here right in my crease right there this look kind of blown out which that tends to be my style I really like blown out smoky looks I like for I like to use different colors and I like for each color to have their moment in my eyeshadow but I also want them to kind of blend and kind of look like blown out so that's what we're gonna do today um, I'm gonna grab another brush I'm gonna grab this one, this is a BH Cosmetics number six brush. I'm actually gonna go into this magenta shade right here. This one, I'm gonna focus right underneath, can you see? Like right underneath that orange shade. back in with the brush that I use to dip into Baja and I'm gonna blend okay so now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna grab wild heart and this is what's gonna be my lid shade I'm gonna put this all over my lid heart shade has a little more potential than it's giving off so I'm gonna go in and spritz my brush with some fix plus and then dip back into it oh much better And I'm gonna go in and freshen up Hellride and Baja. I'm gonna do Baja first, just the very tip of my brush. And then I'm gonna go back in and freshen up Hellride.
this angled brush right here and I'm gonna dip into punk and this is what I'm gonna use to kind of give me like a smoky wing liner. <laughs> I'm gonna go and clean up right here. I'm gonna be using this Morphe R42 brush and I'm gonna dip into my camouflage cream by Catrice. Okay, now we're gonna go in and I'm gonna conceal. I'm gonna use the Born This Way by Too Faced, the multi, the concealer. I'm gonna use the Morphe 536 to blend that out. Okay, now I'm gonna grab a little brush that I can smoke out my lower lash line. Um, I'm gonna start the same way I started on top, and I'm gonna need to start with Weekender. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. <music> And then I'm gonna grab a big fluffy brush like this. This is the Morphe E41. And I'm gonna dip back into my ColourPop, the pressed no filter powder. And I'm just gonna press that, kind of pounce, just pounce it onto my face. Then I'm gonna grab this stippling brush by MAC. It's the MAC 187. And I'm gonna use my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer today to bronze up my face. I've been liking using a brush like this just because it kind of just gives a blown out bronzy look and so I've really been liking using that type, this type of brush to bronze my face with. Now for blush, I'm gonna go in and use one of my MAC blushes. This is one of my favorite blushes by MAC because it's just a very like natural tone. It's just a good blush that gives a nice flush to the cheeks. This is in the shade Tenderling. And I'm going to grab my Morphe E4 brush. This is like by far the best blush brush I have ever owned. And once I do my bronzer and my blush, I always like to go back with that initial fluffy brush and just kind of blend everything. I think I'm gonna pop on some false lashes today. So I'm gonna curl my lashes, put on some mascara, and then I'll come back and finish my with my lip.
All right, you guys, so I applied my lashes. I used the Kiss Lashes in the style Pixie. I love these lashes just for like a simple little wispy. They add just a little flair and wispiness to my eyes because I didn't want to take away too much from the eyeshadow by using a thick banded full flared lash. So I just wanted to add a little something to my natural lashes. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish my lips, finish this look off and do my lips. Um, I'm gonna be using the lip liner by ColourPop and the collab that they did with I Love Sada E. And this is lippy pencil is um, in the shade Curvy. The liquid lipstick that she also created with ColourPop. Um, this is the Ultra Satin Lip and this is in the shade 951. Now I'm going to highlight and to highlight I'm going to use this palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Glow Kit and this is the Sugar Palette. I'm going to grab my highlighting brush. This is one of my favorite brushes to highlight when you want a more precise like highlight. And this is the Morphe M, let's try that again. And this is the Morphe M510 and I'm gonna dip into the shade Marshmallow and Gumdrop. And then sometimes when I'm highlighting, yes, I will highlight right there, but whatever leftover highlight I have, I like to kind of bring it and round it around my cheek just so I have that little bit of pop on my cheek. Before I forget, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my inner corner because I noticed I forgot. And I'm gonna dip into the shade Stranded, this shade right here. I'm gonna clean this brush off. And I'm gonna dip into this breakaway shade right here. And I'm gonna use that just to put right here under my brow bone. Use my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. All right, you guys, so that concludes this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am obsessed with this palette. I truly love this palette. I think the packaging is cool and different. It has all these different places around the world. Um, so it's really cool. I mean, you can create, if you are a fan of color or you've been looking to spice up um, your, your looks with some color, I think this is a great palette. I would definitely go out and get it. I truly feel blessed and grateful that um, Jamie got it for me because I probably would have never gotten it for myself even though I really wanted it. I just, I don't know, I don't know if I, Maybe eventually, but not anytime soon. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to check the description bar below. I will list everything that I used today. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.